How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Group. We are live at Oshkosh, Wisconsin. I'm so happy to be here. But I'm more happy about what I'm about to show you guys. This is a turboprop engine that you can fit in a Cirrus. Stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, the Turb Arrow. Now, I don't know the specific model name they have for this thing yet, but the first time I came across these guys was two years ago when I was first here. And we were actually just talking engine options for my sling, or for me possibly building a sling. And I was just, you know, having conversations about, hey, what kind of engines are out there? I would love to have a turboprop, and sure enough, here is one. Now, this is just a 3D rendering, but just to show you what's possible. These guys have been working on this engine for years. Now, again, I met them for the first time two years ago, and here it is, okay? This is a 270 pounds turboprop engine, and you can see what it's strapped onto right now. Even this airframe that it's on is only a one-seater, but I'll make another video to talk about the this plane, but I really wanna focus on this beast right here. Now, this engine will have 200 horsepower. That's the max full horsepower, your takeoff horsepower. And then you get 200 all the way to 8,000 feet. At 8,000 feet, you come down to 180 horsepower. And then you climb further at 10,000, you've got 150 horsepower still. And you can go all the way. Let's see, actually, here are the numbers here. There you go, the Talon, Turb Aero Talon, TA200TP. You can see your takeoff power, 200 horsepower, your cruise power at 10,000 feet is 180, and obviously, turboprop, turbine, jet A fuel, and you still got 150 horsepower uh, if you cruise at, your, I guess, 75%, and this is what you'll be burning, 13 gallons per hour. Now, for piston engine, that might seem normal. For a turbine, for a turboprop engine, that's ridiculous to be burning this low amount of fuel. But that's what they're saying. And again, the weight of the engine is only 270 horsepower. Now let's get back to it. I'm so excited, you might, you might hear me slurring my words here. Now, when you think about this engine, for the guys who are currently flying, the guys and girls flying, say a Lycoming IO 360. That's a 180 horsepower engine. You can tune it up to say 200 horsepower to even match a plane, uh, an engine like this. But if you want a turbine, a turbine, <laughs> you can swap this with it and you're not making any crazy changes to the airframe for weight. Again, below 300 horsepower, you are, I mean, this is just a different beast. And you ask yourself, why would you even want a turbine or a turboprop? Well, you've got less moving parts, and rarely do you ever, 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 ever hear of a turboprop or turbine shutting down. You, when you think of piston engines, you have you can have problems with it because you have so many moving parts. You might have two to four moving parts total in an engine like this. And so that's one of the vantage points or advantages of having something like this. Now, I can't show you the interior or what's inside of it because it's uh, it's closed off right now. Again, when you think of this option, for those of you who are already flying a piston engine, um, I, <laughs> I just don't see why not, you know? But again, the weight may be one of the most important factor. For a guy like me, I fly a much lighter airplane and so I may be able to fit this in my plane and it would be great for the airframe, but I might need to make some modifications. But if your airplane can already take 270 pounds up front, you don't need to change anything, your CG stays the same and so on and so forth. Now you can see that this is likely gonna be a bit longer or maybe not, but just size wise uh, for, for even a, an AP mechanic working on this thing now, given that this is turbine, you might have to get someone who knows what they're doing to be able to work with this. Now, I spoke to the guys at Turb Arrow. 
here's what they're telling me as far as the numbers. I already showed you uh, the performance numbers there. Now, real world performance numbers really haven't come out, but when you think of your power output, um, also the TBO for this engine is, from what I calculated, it's gonna be about a thousand hours. So they said you can fly this for 10 years. And that's calculating 50 to 100 hours per year, maybe 150. But 10 years, imagine 100 hours, that's about 1,000 hours. But here's the, here's the kicker. The price point for this engine, wait for it, $80,000. Now, when they told me that price, I thought they were being too optimistic. I mean, this is a steal, or this will be a steal at $80,000, but that's the price that they're coming to market with. Um, he said if it goes higher, it wouldn't be much more than $80,000. But $80,000 is the price point that they're looking to launch this engine. Now, it will come out mainly for the experimental market, um, and the goal ultimately is for them to certify it and have it on certified planes. <laughs> I just, I can't wait for a time like that where, you know, a Cirrus is, is flying one of this or your Piper Cherokee or Mooney is flying in one of this or flying this uh, in front of it. It would just, it would be a game changer. And there's literally nothing like this. You don't have a small turboprop in the market. This would be the first. And at 200 horsepower, I, I think, I mean, it would be crazy if you have the option for this and still opting for a piston engine but right now this is this is all i know uh, again this is a talon it's yeah. built by turb arrow and you can check them out or get more information at turb.aero very simple turb.aero and i'm going to leave a link to their website in the description below if you have any questions please post it in the comment below. I already told them that they need to, whenever I put this video up, they're gonna come in and answer those questions for you. But guys, I'm excited. It's been two years since I first discovered this engine and to have a prototype in front of me is pretty amazing. So I'm really excited and I would love to see this thing come out. Now they did say that more than likely by December of this year, they should be able to sell these. Uh, but fingers crossed. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If this is your first time, be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. A great way to support the channel is to become a premium member or you can sign up at mojogroup.net forward slash MVP. Appreciate the support, guys, and I will catch you on the next video.